Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Friday Jazz Happy Hour for November 13th. Uh, I'm your host, Bill Walker. Thank you for being here. Uh, let me get rid of that reverb. There we go. I'm coming to you a little bit early because I'm going to be heading out uh, doing some camping. And uh, so if you're seeing this at the usual time and place, that means that all worked. Uh, I want to revisit some tunes I've been working on for a while and try some new arrangements on you. And uh, first up, first up today is uh, a Caribbean sort of folk tune that Sonny Rollins made famous on his album Saxophone Colossus. This is St. Thomas. St. Thomas from Sonny Rollins. That record, Saxophone Colossus, is uh, a masterpiece. Uh, that particular version of that tune is f fabulous. Uh, I believe it's Max Roach on drums who sets up this really odd 
groove. And then uh, Sonny Rollins on tenor sax just is floating it on top of it, making these really great phrases. Uh, that groove there is as close as I've come to the feeling of that original record. So uh, that was fun. Uh, I'm noticing the uh, sunlight beaming in, which is a giveaway that we're not doing this Friday at 5. Hopefully it's not going to mess up my uh, exposure too much. All right, now we're going to visit Broadway Showtune land as we, as we do. Uh, this is a um, Jerome Kern, Oscar Hammerstein tune called All the Things You Are. And I remember that uh, I believe it's guitarist Jim Hall used these same chord changes uh, with a different melody that he entitled Are You All the Things? Anyway, uh, anyway, this is quite of a quite a favorite of mine. Our, um, and now and I can't say the title right. All the things you are.
Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein, All the Things You Are. Let me take a moment to, um, <clears throat> I want to talk about the tip jar, if you like what you hear. <coughs> Excuse me. If you like what you hear, I'm not uh, monetizing these videos at all. Uh, and so I would like instead for you to consider donating and supporting uh, Second Harvest Food Bank, which is an organization in various places, including here in Silicon Valley. They're doing great work to address food insecurity uh, here and at other places. So please check them out and consider supporting them. They are at shfb.org. You can see it in the crawl over there. Uh, thank you. I really appreciate it. We are going uh, next to um, revisit a tune that I did here a couple of months ago. I'm still working on the arrangement. I'm going to try out some new ideas today. This is uh, Mungo Santa Maria, who's a famous Latin percussionist. His composition, Afro Blue. Thank you. 
Mongo Santa Maria's Afro Blue. Uh, next, I want to uh, I want to play a song by former bandmate and bass uh, bass player Eric Turkman. Uh, this is a tune he wrote that we used to do in the Penguin Jazz Quartet. It's called Coming Home.
Thanks to Eric for writing that tune. I think that's really pretty. He used to play the melody on the bass. It was really nice. It's time for some pasa. This is uh, a t another tune we used to play in that band, Penguin Jazz. This one's called Jinji.
Jinji by Antonio Carlos Jobim. I'm going to double check something on uh, one of my cameras. Just hold on a sec. So in earlier, uh, one of the earlier videos, maybe last week, Joe said, I hope you've given camera two a stern talking to. And uh, I have to say, Joe, not totally. I did a firmware upgrade thinking that would help. Um, it did not. So, but I, I knew at about this moment in the recording it was going to flump out. So I switched away and avoided going dark. So we have a workaround anyway. Let's play some Duke Ellington. This is an arrangement of Caravan that, uh, I don't know, let's say it draws on uh, arrangement ideas from both Herbie and from Thomas Dolby. <laughs> Thank you. 
Duke Ellington's Caravan. I think it shows with Duke Ellington you can do just about anything and it's still an awesome melody. All right, that's uh, I'm just about done here. Let me remind you again about Second Harvest uh, Food Bank, shfb.org. Uh, if you like what you're here and if you want to support this and them, please check them out and uh, consider supporting them. Thank you. I'm going to wrap up with Harold Arlen. Yes, that's what I thought. Harold Arlen composition uh, from a movie you probably know. I knew that was going to happen. All right, let's start that again.
That's Harold Arlen's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. As taught to me by, uh, or helped, arrangement by, uh, helped me by Gus Gustafson, who I used to take piano lessons from. Showed me some really cool things to do there. All right, folks, that's going to do it for November 13th, Friday Jazz Happy Hour. I'm Bill Walker. If you liked the show, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can find out about the next one, which I think will be uh, on the 20th, assuming that everything goes like I think. Uh, the uh, You probably don't need me to tell you, but the coronavirus numbers are really going in the wrong direction right now, so please... Please be careful and please stay healthy and wear your mask. It's still the number one thing we can do to get this thing under control. Uh, so please find out about the health information in your county and take this stuff seriously. All right. Uh, and as always, stay hydrated and stay healthy. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.